statement about Hulk Hogan, about Hulk Hogan being a part of the Royal Rumble. What? We're going to tell you about Hulk Hogan in the Royal Rumble, everything that's going on at 1-900-737-4WWF. It's on right now on option three. What's going on with the Hulkster? Hulk Hogan WWF. in the Royal Rumble? The Royal Rumble. Make that phone call right now, kids. Make sure you got your parents' permission before calling the WWF Superstar Line. Boy, how do I do this? Um, and at the and at the Rumble, frankly, it, it would it would be Sean once again. But depending upon, see, there was there were a lot of things that were going on mm -hmm. at the time, okay. And there was other talent that was very close to to coming in that would have made that would have made all this also kind of obsolete. Was there a game changer that? Uh, from WCW mm -hmm. that maybe you were talking to someone like a Sting or something like that mm -hmm. that would have maybe made this even more irrelevant yeah I mean could you imagine at the Survivor Series all of a sudden out of nowhere let's say somebody from Hollywood showed up the black beard and blonde hair. David Arquette. Yes. Exactly. Hogan. Yeah. Coming back. Yeah. What could you have done with Hogan? First of all, how ser we're being jocular. How serious were those talks? Those talks were pretty serious. Those talks were right up to the, to the midnight hour serious. Because of the issue that was happening, or this would have happened irrespective to Sean and Brett having a problem. This was this was happening because of of Hogan's contract. That was oh. it was time to come up, and and uh, and he was looking for options. As compared to what you were paying Brett, what would you be paying Hogan? Comparable, but a better investment. A better investment. A different investment. A proven investment. Right. I like the Hogan 2 oh, thing. I mean, that was like a, that was a dream, kind of a dream scenario. What sank the deal? I think money. I think money and, and just uh, Terry's comfort with where he was at the time. You know, he didn't have to, I think, you, you look at, gosh, man, I can come in and work Monday Nitro when I want to and get paid all this money, or I can go back to work for Vince and he's going to work me. Right. I can <laughs> go to work once a week <laughs> and do whatever I want to do, or Vince is going to work me. Um, I, think that's, I think that's probably what did it. It was probably money and, and timing and, and everything else. But it was, his contract was up. He had called. And we, we went through the whole negotiations. We went literally, mm. you know, when I say literally, it went to the midnight hour. Literally, literally went to the midnight hour. Did Eric know that it was going on? I'm sure he did. We didn't. It wasn't the funny thing about it is, is it never got out, and nobody hit it. They met in open, uh, you know. Uh, met in a restaurant in the open. Uh, didn't do clandestine meeting, anything like that. And it was it was out there, and he was negotiating with us forthright, and mm -hmm. and so I would have to assume that he was doing the same thing on the other side, because wow. it wasn't it wasn't a hidden deal. See, we thought we knew everything in the age of the internet. We didn't. Yes. So thank you again. And thank you. Thank you for all the Richard Ramirez conversation in the breaks. Bruce, did you think of anything? You know, the only one I can really think of is, is you know, it's kind of those what if type deal. And during the time when we were negotiating with, with Brett, Hulk's contract with WCW was also coming due. And they had an option to either match any offer, so on and so forth, going back and forth. And Hulk had expressed interest in coming back. And the idea was one of basically it would have been Hulk being the guy to take the title and Hulk kind of passing the torch to Steve at WrestleMania. But like Hulk kind of heading up the, the DX, if you will, group in, in, in that way, going that way. And it was, it was all the creative of it. The creative You're saying of Hogan it. was going to be the head of DX? Well... Again, the, the creative of it wasn't completely fleshed out. That was an idea, though. The, that was an idea, yeah, to, to kind of get us...
to where we needed to go. We Suck to it, go brother. Yeah. <laughs> Two words for you. But, I mean, that, that was something in negotiations just, just kind of broke down in, in the middle, and it didn't go, go much further than that.